let's unbox my new Kabuto Ryuki helmet. Flat black one, mostly because of price. It was about fifty dollars cheaper. Not sure if this is available in the U.S. I tried checking the page. It didn't seem to be uh, a lot of information on Kabuto helmets in the U.S. But uh, it looks good. The reason I'm buying this, the reason I bought it, therefore, is um, I'm getting a, a new bike in a couple days here. Shout out. To, uh, Suzuki, I guess. I don't know. Not really a shout out to Suzuki. Yeah. So this is a, a system helmet. So if we I tried it out in the store before I buy an Amazon. Yep. So the whole head comes up. Built in visor. I do a lot of morning commuting, so I'm looking for that. Not having to put on a pair of sunglasses all the time. Yep, it's uh, it's definitely lighter than my my cheapo hundred dollar helmet. Kabuto Japan. Yeah, again, I'm not really sure if this is available in the U.S. or not. But it's got the uh, the ratcheting mechanism. Right? I know a lot of people uh, like the D clip still, but I'm telling you. In Japan, they're not the most popular, and we can go away with that. We got two vents in the two vents in the top, two vents in the back here, and one vent in the front here, just in the front. What's nice is um, if you don't want to rock the internal sunglasses or if you wear glasses. Uh, Kabuto is still probably one of the very few manufacturers that actually puts a slit into the padding for your glasses, right? No problem if your glasses wear. Alright, so that is the Kabuto Ryuki helmet. Large size. I paid about 310,000 yen for this. 310,000 yen, that's not right at all. I paid about uh, 30,000, 31,000 yen for this from Amazon. I believe it's like 190, $200 ish with the, the yen as weak as it is right now. Yeah. All right. All right, so there's the helmet with the, the sticker peeled off the visor. Probably never be that clean again once I start using it. This is a system helmet, right? It does have pin lock. I have ordered the pin lock. It's not unfortunately in yet. And, uh, but yeah, yeah, nice, nice clicky feel to that. And on the side here, you can see it's got the built-in sun visor, up or down. I really gonna appreciate that. And if we close the visor here, the front we've got the main vent two on the top that are adjustable and then two in the back which are just always open on the bottom you see that red pin here and uh, just pull up on that and then we can open the whole front of the helmet just like that so there we go yeah again i can't believe how light this is i'll put it in the the video the exact weight that's advertised for this helmet I really do hope it'd be available in Japan. In, in Japan, I really do hope it'll be available in the U.S. And again, at thirty thousand yen, I think that's really you know, great value for for a system helmet. So. I have a lot more great content on my channel, guys. Please check out some of the links here and here, here and here, here and here. I'm not sure where they are, but please check out some of the links. I really appreciate it. See ya.